Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, well, today was a better day. Um, things went a lot smoother. Um, I came in and uh, helped Heather for just a little bit um, to get the rest of the one truck that I had worked on yesterday finished up and uh, take care of some of the carryover that we had um, and that gave her a chance just to focus on uh, the truck that she had to do and then get started on the regular stuff um, she uh, there's still one truck to be done to, for tomorrow um, she didn't get everything finished today but uh, it's a big display truck that you know, it's going to take a little bit of time, um, but she has it pretty well uh, set up for tomorrow. Um, you know, she got she got everything else done and then got this one uh, set up pretty good so that when she comes in, she can get started on it right away, uh, which is good. And uh, I got the shelves done, and I also went and grabbed the mill cart for tomorrow. And knocked it out already today so that uh, all the shelves basically are done uh, we had about seven about seven shelves that we were missing that we were short uh, four from the mill and three uh, from the shelves or from the, the flat stock um, so tomorrow you know that should be easy enough to uh, deal with um, I'll probably be down helping Heather in the morning with coffins for a little bit, uh, probably helping with the carryover while she gets started on the, uh, display truck and, uh, that'll get her in better shape. I might stay down there long enough to do, uh, one of tomorrow's trucks, um, depending on how quickly Connor gets all the tickets sorted and whether he wants me to stay down there for a little bit or whether to, I'll go back down a little bit later uh, in the day once I get my other stuff done. Um, there's... It, it kind of looks like uh, UPS might be a little bit... Uh, of a problem tomorrow but at the same time it may not be as big of a issue um, there's a whole bunch of parts but they're basically just single parts um, which makes it look a lot bigger than um, what it actually is number wise um, so you know Brandon may be able to to zip through it a little quicker than, than what it seems like it might be um, so he might be available to uh, to help with shelves earlier um, depending on what the glass and paneling looks like tomorrow today they were the paneling wasn't bad it was a little smaller than yesterday but the shelves was bigger and uh, it was just way too much glass so hopefully i'm hoping that tomorrow's glass will will be better maybe paneling will be about the same as it was today um, so fairly easy to deal with um, shelves were pretty easy uh, excuse me so maybe maybe it'll be a, a much lighter day for me tomorrow um, and I might actually be able to accomplish a little bit more um, you know and still get out at a decent time so we'll see uh, i'm still having some problems with my nose and my uh, cpap mask um i've got a it, it almost from the very beginning something about the mask has irritated my nose um, and it's getting better sort of uh, but I've been trying several different things, trying to um, 
keep a good seal on the mask, but at the same time uh, alleviate the, the irritation that it's causing uh, on my nose. Last night seemed to be pretty good. I tried something different and it seemed to be working pretty well. So I'm, I'll am i stick with it for a little while and see how it goes and see if maybe I've found a solution. We'll see if my nose heals. Um, it's kind of annoying because part of the problem is, okay, the mask sits in the wrong spot or, or something. It, it's irritating and, and creating a, a, a sore on my nose. Well, then I come to work and my safety glasses sit right on that same exact spot. So all day long, it's, it's irritating the already irritated spot. Um, so what I may have to do, um, in addition to this, this different thing that I'm doing with the mask at night, I may have to go ahead and like put a, a, a bandage or something on my nose uh, with some Neosporin or something to help it heal during the day while I'm wearing my safety glasses so as to keep the safety glasses from further irritating it. So I don't know. I'll figure something out. <laughs> but right now, I mean, my nose looks, it's looking pretty bad. Um, it's not as bad as it looks really, um, I think. Um, it's a little irritated, uh, a little sore uh, in one little spot, but it's it's kind of inflamed around the area, so, you know. But we'll see. Uh, I'll give it a few more days before I start really um, freaking out about it. You know, if it doesn't go away, uh, then I might start thinking about making an appointment to go see the doctor and have it checked out, make sure it's not something, you know, major. Um, I think it's just an irritation from the mask. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about the mask that, that caused this, but I think that's where it comes from. So we'll see. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Um, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And uh, we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.